Hi everybody, welcome to a new tutorial on Synthscaper. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use things like address mask and also uh, to apply some interesting uh, um, kind of chorus effect uh, um, changing the balance between left and right of the voices that you're playing. So let's start with the an empty scene and let's set it like so and let's close. So as you know we have uh, only the second oscillator active, the other two are muted. Okay let's go inside the oscillators and we are going to focus on this area here. So here where you say where you see a DSR for address and here where you see the play. Okay, let's mute the other layers as well. Let's focus on layer number one. So let's play. So we have a normal generated sign sample that we are playing. So let's focus with the address mask first. Here is where you can uh, change uh, the bits of bytes all uh, that are streamed to create effectively the sounds that you hear. Here you have 16 bits, as you can see here on the screen. So you can decide to change some of the bit and see what happens. So for example, on the first bit at the moment, I set it and um, I enable it. So on that bit, I can say set it to zero. So regardless of what value that will have uh, coming through in the streaming packs of bytes, I suppose, or words, and uh, from a technical standpoint, you will have that first bit uh, uh, set to zero. You can also set it to one or you can invert it. So if it's zero, it will become one or if it was one, it can become zero. In terms of how that changes the sound, it's a bit unpredictable depending on the sample you, has, you have. I suppose uh, if the sample is very simple, you could predict the outcome, but if the sample is complicated or something you sample from a natural element, uh, um, I think it is complicated to actually um, predict what the outcome will be. But certainly it gives you the ability to create new sounds. So let's try again without that bit. And let's start to activate some bit and set them to zero. Okay, let's do the second one as well. So you can hear that it's changing. And you can do a combination, of course. And as I mentioned, if you have a more sophisticated sample, um, it, it becomes really interesting. So you can set them to one instead of zero. You can also invert them. And something interesting as well you can do, you can uh, shift them left and right, look like that. Moving the sliders and that change the effect. So I would say just play around with it and enjoy the exploring other um, effects or different sound texture that you you can create. So let's set that to off and now let's go to the play uh, part of the screen. Here is where um, you can apply an unbalance between the left and right channel. So let me explain. At the moment it says with zero and time zero. So with 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 you just change how far the imbalance will go from the center, okay? And with time, you set how long it will take to get to the new position. Now, as you play one note, that will start in one position. Then as you hold that and you go, you press other notes, they will move from left and right channel, um, alternating, and the, how far they will move from the center will be based on the width here. And how, and how quickly the move from the center will be based on the timing. It's difficult to hear it unless you have headphones on. So let me try. And what happens is because uh, they're moving left and right, it's almost like having a real-time chorus. So... Um, it's difficult to show it in a tutorial, in a video, so try yourself and also try different samples. And at some point you should be able to hear actually that it moves from the left and the right channel. I had to try different times to actually hear it, but it does work. Additionally here you have the possibility to reset from the beginning the sample which is played. If you don't, it will continue from the last position. So I normally 
uh, set it to reset. You can also reverse the sample and also to make it play only once. So let's try with a user sample. You should know how to do that. So let's load these uh, as snare sample. Um, you should hear actually now that it's moving. They, and with the sample is easier. You should hear that it's moving from left and, and right channels. But anyway, you can also set it to reverse. It does what it says. And um, if you hold a note, it will repeat. If you want it to play only once, you click on single. And of course, it will not repeat. Okay, this is uh, a short to -do tutorial to complete uh, some of the uh, parameters under the oscillator. In the next video, we'll start to talk about um, envelopes and LFOs, which is a more complicated uh, uh, part of Synthscaper, but very interesting uh, nevertheless. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Bye.